but I am going to be skip. I, I will skip the cutscenes that we've already seen, so that fluff is going to be out of the way. But yeah, one of the biggest issues with this game is that you're forced to. Well, you're not forced, obviously. You can just do one ending as you wanted to, but I've only. Well, it's only been like what forty minutes, and um, that that's like the shortest game I've ever heard, or like shortest. Well, not count, not, or like, one of the shortest games I've heard in general, like, like, I don't know, man. But like, it's, it's either, you're waste, you're wasting, you waste your money with only playing the game for, like, under an hour, or, or depending on what path you take, obviously, or you're, just dealing with crappy missions, and um, it's not great. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, you d again, you don't necessarily have to be all. You don't necessarily have to do all ten endings. Like, if you don't care about final story, you can just call it a day. But if you're like me and you have to finish the story, you're gonna be going through. The, you, you have, you're going to have to be going through the game 10 different times, and you're always going to be starting from Westopolis each time, which means that you have to, you have to play West Op Westopolis 10 different times just to get all the endings, and... Okay, can I get this? Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, screw you, I want to get collectibles. Um, and... Again, it's just... It, it just gets exhausting. Like this, this game is not a game to marathon. It just takes forever. And if you thought, if you thought that playing through the game is the same game four times in Heroes is bad, Shadow will like double up on that. And have you beat the game uh, ten times? And like make you, it's okay. I will say, I will say this in Shadow's favor, it does have a bunch of different stages you can go to, um, as opposed to Heroes, where it always goes down the specific, the specific level list. That is true, but one thing I will say is that Heroes is always, what, what am I trying to say, um, with the, with the exceptional Chaotix, the missions in Heroes are all, always just straightforward, get to the goal, um, and the level design I think is just more enjoyable overall, and it's only four times so it's not the end of the world, whereas this game has a bunch of obnoxious missions that can sometimes go up to like half an hour, uh, de depending on how lost you <laughs> lost you end up getting um and god it's mm. this game is just tiring to com complete is the point and again i will i'll give it credit in the fact that there are different levels to go to depending on your pathway that is something i will credit this game for With that being said, I am actually going to take a different path uh, from last time. I don't, I don't want to just do ne the neutral runs again because that will end up making this completely redundant and make you wonder why I didn't just cut. So, uh, but let let. Let's do the tedium. Let's do the hero mission. God. So yeah, this is one of those things where you have to ch check out every nook and cranny and make sure you kill like every enemy or every alien. Otherwise, you have to look around for that like that one random enemy that you just ended up missing because the game has like no leeway whatsoever. I do think that this level gives you a couple... I, I, I do think you can at least miss, like, one or two enemies in this stage, thankfully. But 
that is not going to be the norm. Like, most of the time, you are going to have to kill everyone. So, yeah. If you're doing a hero mission and it's kill all the enemies, don't miss up any opportunity and make sure you look around as thoroughly as possible. And it's being meticulous where you have to look around for every specific enemy like this where the game just ends up not really becoming fun anymore. Because when you're doing the neutral path, you're... You, you don't have to worry about that. You can just get to the goal, kill the, kill the enemies as you play the level, and you don't have to worry about killing every single one of them. Whereas... Now, we have to kill pretty much every one of them. And... I don't know, man. I don't... I'm not one of those people that thinks Sonic games had to be fast, fast, fast all the time. I'm one of those guys that like the Werehog for Pete's sakes. Um, but this is not the right way to do game... Uh, this is not the right way to slow down a Sonic game. Like, there's nothing... Th there's nothing inherently interesting about slowly finding every single enemy and killing them all. Or what have you. And... I'll give it that. I'll give it this. The gunplay in this game is actually rather solid, and um, it is pretty sat satisfying to shoot people down. And the auto lock on uh, makes it easy to use them. Uh, but again, just the I just the whole whole idea of just having to track down every individual enemy is just. Tedious. And, uh, the level design isn't exactly the most interesting, like, uh, some, sometimes, like, the level design isn't always the most interesting, and that makes missions like this just, the, just, even, like, even more obnoxious than they, than they already are. Just the, like, I will say, I will say in terms of that, I will still rather replay, I will still rather play most stages in this game over 06, um, but at, at the very least, to 06's credit, it doesn't have, um, stage missions, with the exception of maybe White Acropolis with Shadow, um, Tech, on a technica but on a technicality because you need to shoot down the searchlights to get to the goal or whatever. But besides that, it's mainly mainly just get to the goal stuff. But this game, well, this game is the. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Um. Okay, what what I was trying to say is that O six just has get to the goal stuff, with one exception. This game, like, has a bunch of random missions, but at least I can enjoy the levels on a base level more than 06 is. And it's like, just imagining 06, 06 stages with tedious missions like this just kind of makes me want to puke. Because, <laughs> like, that does not sound like my idea, my idea of a fun time. Okay, yeah, we had, like... To a leeway of like two enemies, so that's, I guess that's something. But yeah, like I said earlier, if you're doing the hero mission, make sure you don't kill, like, you kill the least amount of gun soldiers possible. And the, like random debris and whatnot, I believe will end up going to dark side points. Like different. Is this the same cutscene or?
Yeah, okay. This is the same cutscene, okay. Uh, but, um... What am I saying? I don't know. Like, something about, like, ranks, I guess. Oh, no, no, Uh, depending on, like, the type of stuff you break in the level will give you hero or dark points. I know distinguishing flames... Yeah, that's the line. <laughs> Distinguishing flames will give you hero points, for instance. Or oh, extinguishing flames, not distinguishing. Like, what the hell am I talking about? Yeah, not this time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do the neutral path here, I guess. But yeah, this is Circus Park. This is actually a pretty fun stage in my opinion. Um, the... The... It's... Fu <laughs> just fun circus level. It's the closest you get to a, like, a casino park kind of stage in this game. And unlo unlike that stage, this is actually pretty a pretty fun level. You have... Unlike... Heroes where you go on a bunch of awkward slot machines. You just have a bunch of fun little mini games you play throughout the stage where if you like shoot enough but if you shoot a bunch of balloons or you jump into the um ring or like the bumper, you get a bunch of rings. And that's basically what you want to do for the for the uh, Tails mission here. Or the hero mission rather. And, um, that will, for the Tails mission, you do need to get 400 rings, which might sound like a pain in the neck, but in this game, you only lose about, like, 10 or so, like, 10, 20 rings or something every time you get hit, and you can pick all those up, so it's not actually that bad, it's actually, this stage is actually pretty fun to do the hero mission in my opinion, because there's just a bunch of different things you can do, and it doesn't actually take that long to get enough rings. And even though the Dark Mission is kill a bunch of gun soldiers, it's really hard to miss them in this stage, I find. And I feel like there's some leeway. I could be wrong, but I feel like this stage has the most leeway in terms of how many enemies you need to kill. Because I, I feel like you, the stage only goes on like halfway until you kill enough enemies like I don't know this this is a pretty good stage overall in my opinion it's fun aesthetic uh, kind of generic music circus music but it's fine for what it is um, good level design uh, fun mini games to get you the rings the dark mission isn't as taxing as it could be so Props for, props, props for that, and it's just fun stage, really. I would like there are there's, there are some stages in this game that I will legitimately call great. Like and I feel like this is more along those lines. Like it's definitely not the best level ever or whatever, but it's definitely around. It's definitely on on the highest higher spectrum or whatever you want to call it. And there's there isn't really I should probably watch the rings because I don't want to accidentally do the hero mission. So I just take some random hits. Just avoid the rings. Um And yeah, there are there are there are a good chunk of levels that I will say I do Legitimate, I do legitimately really like in this game. Um, and again, this just happens to be one of those. It doesn't overstay its welcome either. Uh, camera, please. It doesn't overstay its welcome either. I think we're actually coming to the end now. Like, this is the this is um, type of level, level length I expect from Sonic. Take that, Sonic. 
Sonic Forces. <laughs> More on that game in like 10 years. The damn fourth Chaos Emerald is mine. <laughs> oh god, I remember the stupid Seas run I did for this. Ah, jeez. Oh god. I didn't realize we were going to this stage. There you go, kids. If technology's be, if technology's being a prat, just karate chop it. Okay. Oof. I do not like this stage. So are we just doing the neutral path? Yeah, and I want to get out of this as, out of this place as soon as possible because, oh boy. Okay, I'll I'll say this. I love the cyberspace aesthetic, and the hero mission in this place is fine, I guess. But the dark mission in this place can go to hell. It's one of the worst missions in the game by a long shot, and it's just involve. I don't know if I'm end up. I'm probably not going to end up doing this, this mission, so I'm just going to explain this now. Um, but the dark mission in this place basically entails you entails you going through this massive, this massive area, exploding like forty bombs, basically, and there's like, for for stars, there's like no draw distance with these things, so. You're kind of just going to end up walk like, going around aimlessly until you end up running into a bomb. And the area is so big and confusing that it's going to end up taking you up to upwards to like 30 to 40 minutes. Or 30 bombs. And it's, yeah, those, those like mine bomb things like over, like over there. Like... It's the stupidest thing ever, it is so boring! Like, it takes the longest time to find all these things. Again, there's no real draw distance. Like, you can't see them from far away, so... You're just gonna end up kinda... You're just kinda gonna end up wandering around for like five years, trying to... Trying to... Uh, find more bombs, and it might be my most despised mission in the game. There's two others that come close, but this one, like, I, I just, I just can't. Like, again, this game runs in the Heroes Engine, which makes me enjoy the game on a base level, for the most part. And I, it makes me still not dis, not, it's, it makes it so even on the worst missions, I'm still having an okay time at the, like, I'm still having an okay time. But at this stage, on the dark mission, you're just, 
going around cyberspace, not doing anything really thrilling, just kind of awkwardly, like, just kind of trying to look for stupid bombs that was ju just kind of scattered around seemingly at random, and it's just a pain, like, whoever thought about those- Whoever thought up that mission just should just like stop everything they're doing immediately. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that? Like, there's so many. Like, is you gonna have to do like, oh, blow up all the bombs in cyberspace? You could have done it in a more, a way more fun way than that. Like, maybe go to different areas than the hero path, or like, I don't know. If you're gonna make me go to the same hero path areas. Make it a bit more open so there's like different paths to go down for the dark side. Where, oh, if I go this way, oh, I can blow, blow up like five to ten bombs or something. Instead of just aimlessly going around cyberspace and just being like, oh, uh, okay, it's, it's been like 20 minutes and I've only ki destroyed like ten bombs. Uh, this is uh, Why, dude? There's so much. There are so many different ways they could have gone about that. And they went the most, like, tedious way imaginable. Like, why? But yeah, just for those who, uh, want to go for the neutral path, just go to the- just go to the red terminal, because that's where the goal ring is. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up wasting your time. Yeah, you can say that. You're like, seriously, screw- <laughs> screw this place! Which sucks because aesthetically, this is a great stage. Like, like this cyberspace is like something that you don't really see in Sonic. So, you know, for that, uh, with that in mind, it's actually pretty cool. I love I love these like over the top like uh, sound effects like the <laughs> it's like you move your arm slightly to the side and it just goes <laughs> it's like okay but yeah this is um I'm, you got to say it you got to say it or not he's going to say it eventually Yeah, this is, um, basically a harder version of the egg, egg breaker fight. He has this stupid ball move that he makes, ends up, ha he just says that line over and over again. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing. Ah. And also just harder by the fact that you don't have a turret this time. But, regardless, it's still pretty easy. Just don't be too reckless, I guess. Like, just, yeah. Yeah, the Eggman bosses in this game aren't that hard. Then again, the bosses in this game aren't hard, period. So, <laughs> it's part of the course, I guess. And now that I said that, I'm now guaranteed to die to this guy. Clearly. Yeah. Alright, just die. I like the glory effects. Okay, I have no idea where we're actually gonna go, so uh, let's see what uh, let's see what the stage is, I guess.
Oh, okay. Good line. We're stuck in freeze frame, help! Welcome to the next level! Ah, oh, yeah, rock and roll! Whole pack of robots! Etc, etc. Okay. Let's just check, just so I go to right. Okay, we have to do the dark route. Okay, fair enough. So what you want to know is a neutral path sends you forward. Hero makes you go down, and dark makes you go up in the in the um level list, I guess. So that, that's something to keep in mind if you want to go the if you want to go down the correct um pathway. Or like go down for, to the ending you want or whatever. Or you could also just wing it and uh, just kind of take, uh, just kind of go with the flow, I guess, and just don't care what ending you get. You can also go with that. But if you want to end up completing the game, you're kind of you're gonna have to be at least a little bit methodical about how you go about it. But this is actually a, another cool level. It's um. Uh, thing like Final Rush or Final Chase in SA2. This is another stage along those lines where it's just out outside the arc, um, and just fun, just fun level design. It's nice, fast paced. Um, some cool gravity shenanigans going on because you know that that was a thing in Crazy Gadget, so I guess it makes sense to keep that trend going, and. You can actually- okay, let me get that key out, uh, now that I see it, <coughs> if I can. Can I even get that? Like, how? Yeah, I, I see that, I'm trying to get a thing. Uh, how? No, yeah, screw this. Forget it. Let's just, let's just move on. I have no idea how you're supposed to get that key. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, uh, this is one of those stages where, depending on depending on the the mission you're doing, you'll go down a different path, and that doesn't happen too often in this game. Like l less than the, it happens less times than the than it should because this is one of this is actually one of the better levels in the game because again you go down different paths. And um, each mi each mission is um, fun in, in its own right. So like, you have to. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that. But I got a source of things, so that's fine. Um, each mission makes you go down a fun pathway, and you have to do something really slow and tiresome. Like you're looking for six specific things for the dark side path for the dark uh, dark path, and. Um, Nice. <laughs> They're very, very hard to miss. Like, you just kind of have to go down the general pathway and you end up finding them and this elevator can stop, 
like growing up so fast. Um, and yeah, in the hero mission, it's like you have to go to go to the goal and ra like race Sonic to the goal, and there's like a timer, and uh, that's also fun. I think that's an instant death, so I'm gonna be careful. Do I even care? Not really. Let's just forget it. I don't... Yeah, indoor. Uh, the outdoor arc levels are actually pretty fun. Like, straightforward, fun level design, and, uh. And depending on your. On your mission, you go down a different path. So, all, all in all, I'd say this is a pretty pretty solid level. I don't really have much... I don't really have many complaints about this one. One thing I will say that is a little bit daft is that issue... There is a neutral mission in this stage. And, um... Uh, the... Again, the goal is just get to the, get to the goal ring. Pro Problem is, is that the hero mission is also get to the goal ring, and uh, the only difference is that you have to you have to get to the goal ring in the time limit. So, if you're just trying to get to the goal ring in the neutral pathway, um, but you ended up touching the, yeah, there you go, like if you got to, if you grabbed the goal ring before it said hero mission failed, um. And you were like, and you weren't like you were selected on the neutral mission. You'll still end up completing the hero mission, if that makes sense. I I don't know if I explained that well at all, but oh jeez, so if you okay, let me try and explain this again. Uh, well. If you okay, so if you did the neutral mission, and you grab the goal ring before it says hero mission failed, you you'll still end up doing the hero mission, and you'll go down a path that you didn't intend to. So what you have to do is wait for the wait for Sonic to to beat you basically, and then touch the goal ring, and then you then you can go down the neutral path. And it's the most boneheaded design, like, ever. Well, not ever, but, like, it's the stupidest thing. And it's, like, they really should have just made it so if you have the neutral mission selected, getting the goal ring will just automatically go to... I, I need a... I, I need a gun. Um, uh, it will just automatically d default to going... Uh, completing the neutral mission for you, and it's, like... Yeah. It's just... It's just... It's just... It's like the only... Only blemish on an otherwise great level, honestly. Okay, so now we go to Lava Shelter again. Okay, now this is what I was talking about earlier. Just watch this. How did you come to this conclusion? Okay, I, I can I can get the whole like oh I I ended up dying and all that because you had those flashbacks earlier before the stage. 
but where did this whole shadow android crap come from? Like, that, there was no build-up to that in the previous stages, and it just... Shadow has to come to that conclusion just because we're, en we're ending on Lava Shelter, and he... That's the whole point, that's the, like the plot point of this stage, is that I'm a shadow android and whatnot, and it's like... Can you see why the way the story is... Can you see why the storytelling in this game is a complete mess? Because... <laughs> like, why should I care about where the story is going if the game itself doesn't care? It's like, bruh. <laughs> like, I don't, oh god. At the very least, this is still a fun stage, and I think the dark mission is even better because you're going to end up increasing the the uh, lava level, and. That requires you to do a lot more tricky platforming and going up higher and higher than you were in the hero mission, so... Yeah, it's a pretty fun time overall, in my opinion. Again, this is... I don't know, like, I... This this game is like... I can't... I'm, can, I'm... Coming to realize more and more that there's a very love-hate relationship I have with this game, because there's stuff about it that's legitimate, legitimately really cool, and there are missions that are really well done. This is one of those. And, um... Yeah, I like... This. I don't really have much bad to say about uh, Lava Shelter, and again, the music's really good here. Um, Shadows... Okay, I've got to be careful here, actually. Um... Shadow's OST, in general, is actually really solid. Um, it's a lot different from what you're u used to with Sonic soundtracks, but I think it's... I think that makes it stand out more, and um, it definitely works for the kind of style this game's uh, going for. I think Eggman calls it Lava Magma at one point, which is like the most redundant thing you can say. <laughs> so that's pretty good. But yeah, I, I used to hate this. Like, this used to be like one of my most hated Sonic games. I, I mean, I get it's too early to say for sure if I still hold by that sentiment, but I don't. I, I don't hate this game as anywhere near as much as I used to. I like. I like it a lot more than 06, um, I will say that right now, um, and I pff, I do like it more than Sonic Boom Shadow Crystal, I don't know, it's, it's probably still below Secret Rings, I know a lot of people will disagree with me on that, but like, whatever, this is, this is Sonic, what, like, no one agrees with anything, but like, uh, I, I'd still probably play 06 over this game. But yeah, I, I guess I'll I guess I'll see when I finish the game how my opinion has changed overall by that point because again as as I've been finding out more and more as I keep playing I have a very much love love hate relationship with this one because there's tricks of tricks of genius genius here like. Some stages where you have a you have part different pathways uh, that lead you to different uh, mission objectives, and some level design like this stage that are legitimately really well done, and like if the game was just more like this, it honestly could be great. Like ignoring ag ignoring issues to the story I've mentioned previously. Um, but like, if they if they balanced it so like, oh oh man, I I think I my blew blow my mind. If if they just had it so each stage had a dark and hero path, and each and um it's like oh if you want to go, you want to go down the hero the um the dark path, go down this, go down these, go down these pathways. And if you want to go down the hero pathway, go down here. And... It's, uh... And it... 
just just have it basically have have it so every level follows the philosophy of this and the on and the arc level we just played where you have two distinct pathways for for the hero and the dark side speci like specifically and just do that for every stage have it bring in the whole idea i had earlier where how how many what ending you get determines how many how many dark uh, missions you complete and how, or how many hero missions you can play and then that can be acc accum acc accumulated in a final a final stage where like the, the very final stage will be like the black comet or egg the gun headquarters or something along those lines and uh i don't know like <laughs> dude i'm coming to realize more and more that there's, there's something that you could you could you can salvage something out of this game to make something genuinely great and it's I'm starting to realize that more and the more I'm, the more and more I think about it, it kind of sucks, <laughs> but it is what it is. Cause I, I, okay, I'll say this right now. I don't plan on redoing 06, but I will say, um, after thinking about it a lot, there are there are some things I said about that. I said in that playthrough that I don't agree with. I remember, I don't know specifically everything I said. And I don't, again, I really don't like that game at all. So I don't really want to do another playthrough of that game or like another LP. Um, so yeah, but I will say there are things I did say about the game, say, say about the game I don't agree with. Now, like in hindsight, because I feel I, I I read a comment that someone posted on on like part one at one point, where I said something about not uh, said something about serious stories not working in Sonic or something along those lines. I don't again I don't know exactly what I said, but something along the the that train of thought, and in a time where we have. All these self-aware Sonic games and these like Ken Pontac and Graph stuff. I'm, I've honestly rethought that because thinking back on these games, as rough as they are storytelling-wise, they are trying to be genuine. And even though they don't tell their stories the greatest, sometimes you can still that that you can still tell that. The writers are like trying to tell a. They're still trying to tell the story um, genuinely and not like colors or Lost World where it's. They're just like. It's basically them just trying to tell as many jokes as possible. Or it, it just feels disingenuous. Like it, it's. Like let, let's bring out as many tricks as possible, let's make the characters completely one-dimensional, because, uh, you know, Sonic has, you know how Sonic is nothing but cocky and arrogant, like, he doesn't have other sides to him, he, he just, he, he's just a cocky ass the whole time, and there's nothing else to him, and there's, like, that carries over to, like, all the other characters, where, <laughs> like, they lose, like, almost all their personality and just default to one generic like stereotype and that's a just a just a far cry to what they used to be and again if there's anything i can credit these quote unquote dark age games on they do try to tell genuine stories and um actually try to expand on their characters so yeah i if, the, again, this story is a complete mess, and it's the way it's t told is ex extremely flawed. But if I can credit for one thing, 
they try to still they t still try to tell a genuine story, which is a lot more I can say, uh, which is a lot more uh, than I can say about the games post Black Knight, which kind of sucks because some of the the. <sighs> The, I, I do feel like a lot of the, uh, the Sonic lore is interesting. Like, the, there's a lot of uh, cool things that... Uh, the cool ideas they, they have in these games. And it... I don't know. I don't want to talk about this too much right now because... You know, we gonna, we're going to end up going to those games eventually down the road. But... Yeah, again, if there's any if there's something I can say about these games is that they at, le they at least try to expand on the characters and they at least try to tell a story about being up in your face and being like, "Hey, hey aren't we funny guys?" Like uh, it like it's like let's tell jokes every 5 seconds. Like, "Aren't, uh, aren't you having fun yet?" Like, bruh. Disclaimer right now, I don't- saying this, I don't necessarily hate everything about the new stories, um, and I don't think- Hmm, what am I trying to say? Obviously, obviously story is like, one of the- Story is not the biggest problem with Sonic, like, it's not- it's not the major thing you think about, but it is. I still, I do think it's still, I, I do think it's still worth the worth the discussion because I've heard a lot of people say, "Oh, story doesn't matter in Sonic games. It's better off not having them," and you're entitled to that opinion if you if you feel that way. Um, but I do feel like that's a, it's a bit in like it's a bit silly to just ignore a major part of the game like that um and just say oh i i don't care about it so it should it should just it should just not be there period like i just feel that's i feel like that's kind of silly um and again the, the, well not again but, <laughs> but like you can just skip the cutscenes if you really don't care that much in, in most games at, at least like it, I, I care I, I care about story in these games and the in if it, if a story in, is done in the right way it can make a good game great and a great game even better so yeah I completely disagree with the I with the notion that story shouldn't be in a Sonic game but regardless of that we've gotten. Two endings done, and we've got eight more to go. We're just getting started, <laughs> and oh boy, there's a long, long ways to go before we finish this. But that being said, this game is gonna take quite a while to get through, and I don't want to go through all this by myself. <laughs> I I still have I still have quite a bit more to say about the game, but. There's still eight more endings to go through, and I refuse to do this whole game on my own. So what's going to happen is that for every individual ending, like each, like all eight remaining endings, I'm going to have at least one get one guest appearing f uh, for that playthrough, and um, yeah, going to be probably going to end up seeing uh, some some new faces, some. Uh, familiar ones and whatnot, and it's going to be an interesting ride. So yeah, I hope you guys look forward to that. And yeah, it's basic. It's basically just going to follow a similar idea to the Heroes playthrough, um, but it, it's probably going to be mainly just one per. It, it's mainly going to be one guest that uh, per route this time. So yeah, see how that see how that goes, and. I have no plans on what end. What I, I don't know which um, endings I'm gonna go for first, or which ones I'm gonna end with. Um, it just kind of depends on 
depends on people's schedules. So, yeah, I honestly don't know what, what, what the next route I'm going to take is after this. So, I guess, we'll f I, I guess you guys will find out next time. So, with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next playthrough. See ya!